counsel is the last thing an accused person should lack in a free country. There we go. This TV medium allows for slow and detailed storytelling and complex characters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV miniseries. Everybody says so. Don't make it for sure. He sure is handsome. Son of Devil Hands. For this list, we're looking at TV series that were created with a pre-decided number of episodes in mind, meaning that these series were self-contained and not meant to be renewed. No! No! Oh, it's too late to say no, dear. Shows like True Detective have not been included because, while it has been categorized by some as a miniseries, the number of episodes this show will air has yet to be determined, so it does not qualify. Stop, I don't want to hear it. Well, we still cataloging everything. Number 10, Lonesome Dove. A little early for you two to be quitting, ain't it, girl? Or is it Christmas? Taking its story from Larry McMurtry's Pulitzer Prize winning book, this CBS Western miniseries helped breathe new life into the medium and the genre. You man just tell steady there. Murderers, Murderers! Yeah! 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 Starring Robert Duvall, Tommy Lee Jones, and Angelica Houston, among others, this miniseries garnered a whopping 18 Emmy nominations, winning seven. Yeah, what do I get if I win this time? With an all-star cast and drama to die for, this six-hour special not only raked in awards, it also attracted the attention of approximately 26 million households who tuned in for the event. That'd be them. They don't know it, but the wrath of the Lord's about to descend on them. Split into four parts, this epic got us interested in life in the Old West. Look, I said I want my money back. <laughs> Made her mad, by God, didn't he? Number nine, Battlestar Galactica. Are you alive? Aired on the Sci-Fi Channel, this reimagining of the original 1978 cult series of the same name also served as a backdoor pilot to introduce a revamped version of the show the following year. They still ring in my ears after two years. Good! A space-faring civilization across 12 planets is wiped out by a long-gone robot race known as the Cylons. Colonial One, this is Galactica. Apollo, you have inbound enemy fighters coming toward you. Get out of there, Apollo! Apollo, leave, get, leave! Outmatched and with their defense fleet in ruins, the last survivors must make difficult decisions to ensure the continued existence of the human race. On the memory of those lying here before you, we shall find it. A three-hour run of incredible drama, top-notch action, and mind-blowing special effects, this was the start of what would become a landmark television series. I'm losing power. I'm not going to make it, Starbuck. It's over. Just leave. Damn it, that's an order. Hey, shut up and hold still. Number eight, From the Earth to the Moon. For most of human history, a voyage to the moon was the fantasy of the addled brain or foolhardy. For only divine beings and supermen could make the journey. Co-produced by Tom Hanks, Brian Grazer, and Ron Howard, this ambitious project set its stakes high. Well, certainly the president realizes that the moment a man steps on the moon will be a definitive one. Especially considering the three men had previously been involved in the successful big screen film Apollo 13. Okay, it's a lot smoother now, a lot smoother. Roger. A dramatized portrayal of the American manned space program from the 60s and 70s, this HBO docudrama mixed real-life footage and fictionally recreated material in creative and dramatic ways. Jim, I'm gonna clean your windshield. Hey, Buzz, check the oil too, would you? Thanks to stunning visual effects that raise the bar for what TV can do, this miniseries went above and beyond expectations. Dr. Rendezvous himself, Buzz Aldrin, will perform experiments, photograph star fields, and remain outside the capsule longer than any astronaut to date. Number seven, The Odyssey. Do you see Telemachus? Ithaca, your kingdom. 
There aren't many filmmakers with enough guts to take on the production of Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey. That's what makes him relentless. But director Andrei Konkolovsky and NBC partnered up for this ambitious two-part project, which ended up winning the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Directing for a Miniseries. I want you, my brave Odysseus, to defeat the Trojans. Lavish, epic, and brilliant, this small screen adaptation had wild expectations to meet, and with a star-studded cast, exotic filming locations, and meticulous filmmaking, it brought Homer's story to life in a way a shorter production would not have been able to do. What? 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 What do you want from me? What do you want me to understand? Number six. Gulliver's Travels. Oh, little Pusians everywhere! Oh! Washing me! Oh. oh, forgive me. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Based on Jonathan Swift's novel of the same name, this adaptation is unique from other retellings of the tale in that it features each one of the four trips described in Swift's source material. You are awarded our greatest honor! Featuring an A-list cast and large-scale filmmaking, the series recounts through flashbacks the voyages of a man who in the present day finds himself in an insane asylum. Forgive my ignorance, but where exactly are we? And though that exact storytelling device is not featured in the novel, the rest of the two-part series remains relatively faithful to the original story and its fantastical lands. You dare to trespass on our land? Enjoy the view. It's the last time you'll ever see daylight. Number five, V. Oh my God. When an alien race comes to Earth asking for help, a few suspicious humans suspect their horrific true intentions and prepare to resist. They're suddenly looking to acquire large amounts of C4. Why do that unless you're going after a target, like say us? Written and directed by Kenneth Johnson and inspired by a 1935 Sinclair Lewis novel, this adaptation was the first of many installments in the franchise concerning The Visitors. The Visitors didn't just get here. They've been here for years. They'll take over unless we can stop. Deeply dark but thoughtful science fiction, the series is seen as a parable of the Nazi movement, the Holocaust, and World War II with the aliens even wearing similar uniforms and symbols to the Nazi party, which ensured this miniseries appealed to a wide audience. Do the visitors deserve our trust? Are they the saviors they'd have us believe, or are we in danger of rushing to a premature judgment? Number four, Angels in America. It's a crazy life. Chaotic. Yeah, God bless chaos though, right? Adapting his own Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award-winning play for the screen with Mike Nichols as director, Playwright Tony Kushner's gamble paid off gloriously. What? Tell me. Chaos, baby. Legion number one. The wine dark kiss of the angel of death. Oh, please. His political epic about the AIDS crisis during the 1980s was shatteringly surreal and moving. I hear it all over. I wish I was dead. Intersecting the lives of six New Yorkers affected by the disease, the HBO drama was the year's most watched TV movie and set an Emmy record with 21 nominations, including 11 wins. Revision in the text! The angel did help him to unearth them, for he was weak of body, though not of will. With Hollywood heavyweights like Meryl Streep, Al Pacino, and Emma Thompson in lead roles, the six-hour production redefined the made-for-TV movie. Mama? I'm a homosexual, mama. <laughs> Boy, that come out awkward. Number three, planet Earth. When the first polar explorers headed south, giant cathedrals of ice marked their entry into uncharted territory. This BBC series comprised 11 episodes that trekked to the far reaches of the globe to show off a different environment each installment, all in glorious high definition. The Arctic fox finally has enough food to raise her large family. The first HD BBC nature documentary series, and at the time the broadcaster's most expensive, 
Planet Earth was a visually stunning feast for the eyes, with each episode featuring some of the most astonishing nature footage ever captured. Some resemble creatures familiar from shallower waters. With the British version narrated by famed English naturalist David Attenborough, this award-winning nature series helped us all appreciate our planet a little more. The rules are simple. Winner takes all. Number two, Roots. Tonight, we present a landmark in television entertainment, Roots. This 1977 epic eight-part miniseries about African-American slavery was the talk of America. Get in there! Get in there! Hurry! Hurry! Based on author Alex Haley's novel, which told the story of his own family through the generations, beginning with ancestor Kunta Kinte's enslavement to his descendants' eventual liberation. Though the series provided a stark look at the white population's involvement in slave trading, it didn't scare away viewers. And in fact, an estimated 85% of all homes with a TV saw at least part of the award-winning Roots. Oh, you is skinny. He is skinny. Why, well, look at them ribs. Now, look at that rib poking out right there. See that rib, Evan? Mm. Why don't you just tuck it in for him, Jimmy? <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, yeah? Well, wherever the hell I'm going, I'm going to tell them about you goddamn perverts and what you've been doing in here. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, you're there. I can feel it. I can feel your presence. Yes. I knew you would come the moment I began to write. All you have to do is resign yourself to a few more pokes and pricks. Well, what if I... <coughs> <coughs> Folks are sure gonna have quite a collection by the time you get home, sir. Number one, Band of Brothers. Find his keepers. After working together on Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg decided to do more to honor the sacrifice and courage of World War II soldiers. Damn, I like the sound of that. They'll die the last man trying. They then partnered to co-produce this incredible dramatization of Easy Company. Stand back. Give us some room here. Stand back. 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 Taking viewers on the journey from training to the bloody battlefield, this HBO miniseries put the audience in the middle of the terrifying action. Though its companion series, The Pacific, later expanded the scope of wartime storytelling, the original 10-part miniseries was unlike anything that came before it. And that helped Band of Brothers take home seven Primetime Emmy Awards. Talking to his men, he said, from this day to the ending of the world, we in it shall be remembered. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite TV miniseries? This is not a time for showing how clever you are, cousin. Time for choosing sides. For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You are fabulous, each and every one. And I bless you. More life. The great work begins. Mm -hmm.